Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn the bitwise XOR operator. So the bitwise XOR operator takes equal length binary sequence and perform bitwise XOR operation on each pair of bits. So this is the true table for that and if we have 0 and 0 then this operator will return a 0 and if we have 0 and 1 then the result is 1. And if you have 1 and 0, then also the result is 1. And finally, if you have both the value 1, then the result is 0. So simply saying, if you have different values for the pair of bits, then you get a 1. And if you have the same value for both the bits, then you get a 0. So, see an example, take 5 and 9. And let us perform bitwise XOR operation on 5 and 9. But these are decimal numbers. So first we need to convert them into binary numbers. And we know the binary equivalent of decimal 5 that is equal to 101 and for 9 it is equal to 1001. And we need equal length binary sequence so add a 0 to the left of 101 and we got 0101. Now we can perform bitwise XOR. So take the first pair of bits which are 1 and 1 and we have the truth table so we got 0. And next pair is 0 and 0, again we got 0, next is 1 and 0, so that's different values, so we get 1. And finally we have 0 and 1, again different values, so we get 1. And the result of bitwise XOR operation between 5 and 9 is 1100, whose binary equivalent is 12. Now, an interesting fact is that if we again perform XOR on the above result 12 with 9, we will get 5 back. And because of this property, it was used in cryptography. Now say the code to implement this. In the main function, we are declaring two integers a and b which are equal to 5 and 9. Then we are calculating output equal to a bitwise xo b. So bitwise xo will be performed and the result will be stored in output. Now we are printing the value of output which will be equal to 12. So that's it. Now let us discuss about the application of bitwise XO. So as we discussed, it was used in cryptography. So let's say we have two persons who are friends and they share a common key here which is 9. And now they are continents apart and if they want to share a secret message, they can make use of bitwise XO. So this person wants to share the number 5 but it should be a secret. So he performs bitwise XO on this number 5 and the key 9 and he gets 12. And that is sent to his friend. And when this is received by him, he also have the key 9. So he performs bitwise XOR on received number 12 and the key 9. And he gets the original number 5. So that is how bitwise XOR can be used in cryptography. So that's all and thank you for watching this video.